good there? Yes, I'm good, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for having me. I'll try and make this as brief as possible as I know um, I'm hungry and I'm sure everyone here is as well. Um, so uh, just a really brief note about us at Goldbook. Um, you heard some in the introduction. Uh, this actually is one of our founders, Daniel. You can see him there in the, in the center with the long uh, dark hair. He, uh, after he graduated from college, he had an engineering job at Oracle um, as a software developer and then had somewhat of a quarter life crisis, uh, quit his uh, job with all those uh, perks and became a special education teacher in uh, East Palo Alto in the Ravenswood City School District. Um, that uh, school district, some of you may have heard about, maybe not for necessarily the right reasons. They were in some hot water with uh, 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 the the state uh, for being so far out of compliance. So he blended what his uh, his knowledge was, his education in computer programming, with his passion for special education to help develop tools for the teacher teachers at his school. Um, and uh, then he started Goldbook. Uh, I like uh, Steve said, was a, a special education teacher in New York City uh, and then a case manager for kids with disabilities. All of us at Goldbook have similar backgrounds as um, special educators, educators, and district administrators. Um, and as former educators, we know that the number one uh, factor for improving student achievement in the classroom is the teacher. Uh, in fact, uh, studies have shown that the teacher has the ability to impact student achievement six to ten times greater than any other factor combined. However, um, a 2014 Gallup poll uh, said asked superintendents from around the country, uh, K-12 superintendents, uh, how well prepared are your teachers to address variability in the classroom, uh, the variability of all of the learners, uh, from students who have uh, disabilities, from students who are English language learners. They asked those superintendents that question, how well prepared are your teachers? Only 16% of superintendents in the United States said that their teachers were adequately prepared to address that variability of those learners in their classroom. So how are we going to support and empower these educators to address variability uh, for all of the students in their classroom and give them access to rigorous learning? This is the focus of the work at Goldbook. Uh, at Goldbook, we really see this as uh, uh, one of our, our, our major focuses. So um, in the interest of time, there is a, a lot to see about Goldbook, but I'm going to show it to you through the lens of a teacher um, and how a teacher might go about using Goldbook. This is my friend Mika's classroom. Uh, it is a diverse uh, fourth grade classroom. And she is going to be, uh, she's looking through her uh, pacing guide and understands that she's going to be teaching uh, a fourth grade area and perimeter uh, uh, lessons the, this next week. Last year she taught area and perimeter using uh, a worksheet. Um, that's pretty much how I remember learning area and perimeter. Maybe some of you uh, remember learning it that way as well. Um, but she wants to go beyond this year um, and do more for her students and plan uh, to uh, up this level of rigor and give all of her uh, diverse learners in her classroom access uh, to this standard. So Mika has a lot uh, to think about right now. Uh, she's thinking about the standard. She's thinking, what does this even mean, this verbose language of the Common Core or one of her state standards? Um, how is she going to engage her students in learning? And how is she going to give her struggling students access to these higher order skills and higher order thinking? At Goldbook, we call this the knowing and doing gap. 
Many of us, uh, many of our teachers have uh, know and have some background knowledge about UDL um, and maybe roughly what that looks like, but in terms of implementing that in their own classroom, that's where Goldbook attempts to come in and help bridge that divide. So I'm gonna go onto the website here and show you briefly how Mika might log on um, and, and, uh, and use Goldbook for herself. So this is our uh, homepage. So we have we work in consultation with CAST, um, and one of the most popular features of our website, of course, is is our UDL strategies. Um, we have used CAST's guidelines and checkpoints to have this all here for the teacher. And my screen is really zoomed in, so you can only see strategies for representation. There you go. Um, so teachers can come in here. We've used cast, we've used the same guidelines and checkpoints. So it doesn't seem like one more thing that teachers are learning about UDL, but it's familiar for them. This is a lot of stuff on this screen, and it's a little overwhelming for a teacher to just go on here and say, I, I want a strategy for a student, and try and, and find, navigate their way through here. So what we've done is we've introduced a strategy wizard. So this, give, this helps teachers develop a sort of rhyme or reason for the strategies that they're using in, this cl in their classroom. So maybe they need a strategy in reading. And maybe they want to address, they know they want to address a barrier related to reading comprehension. They can sort through our 150 plus strategies we have here and sort through and find uh, the optimal strategies uh, for them to use when addressing the barriers of this particular student or group of students. So they might click on adapted text. We have a picture, a definition, cross-curricular examples, and then implementation tips of how to use a digital adapted text in your classroom. We have external links that will link uh, teachers to uh, free, some paid, but we try to include at least one or two free links to external sites, such as the Tar Heel Reader uh, out of uh, UNC Chapel Hill. Um, they're going all the way, by the way, uh, this year. Um, and uh, that's right. And uh, they, uh, and so we've included an external link to give teachers a library of digital adapted, adapted texts. For strategies that not, aren't necessarily web-based like that, we, and that can include printables, we've included, uh, We've included printables for a lot of for all of these strategies that can include printables. So uh, maybe one of your one of your uh, UDL strategies is an emotions chart. I saw this a lot yesterday um, when in uh, doing the uh, site visits. Um, we'll have a picture, a definition again, and then we have these uh, these uh, printable resources for teachers to use right then and there. Uh, they're downloadable in Word or PDF, so teachers can edit them and customize them to their classroom. Another thing we do, in addition to the UDL strategy index you saw there, is we take the standards in reading, writing, and math. And going back to my friend Mika, who's, who's uh, teaching area and perimeter, she can search by topic or by standard. And she can go to this uh, measurement and data standard that she knows she's going to be teaching this week. She has the common core standard verbatim right there. Then she has it in simplified language for her, so she knows exactly what she's teaching. We've taken all of the standards, figured out which makes each one particularly unique, and distilled them into a core purpose right up there. When Mika's in her, uh, PLCs or, or has opportunities to collaborate with other teachers. We've created a standard analysis where we've uh, 
figured out which ma what makes this standard unique at its grade level, and we've done an explanation there. We've also done a vertical analysis to figure out how Mika and her colleagues can plan for rigor. So we've taken uh, a similar standard in third grade, the grade prior, and a standard in the grade after, so that uh, Mika's not arguing for 45 minutes out of an hour long uh, PLC time that she has about what the standard means and what exactly we're supposed to be teaching our students. We've also we also have uh, instructional tasks for teachers, which we've aligned to Webb's depth of knowledge. So I can take this measurement and data standard if I want to teach at the recall level, which is what Mika uh, probably taught last year with a worksheet. That's fine. We've had we have an assessment item. We have a simple I can statement uh, that the students will be uh, well, that Mika will be teaching to. We have a pulled test assessment question from Parker Smarter Balanced. And then we have differentiation strategies, each that are embedded with these yellow highlighted UDL strategies that Mika can use to teach to this uh, standard at this DOK level. So if we're at DOK level one, the recall level, we have uh, differentiation strategies for uh, general, maybe for more support, again, with those embedded UDL strategies, and most support for uh, some struggling learners in her classroom. If she wants to adjust the level of rigor, she can go to DOK level two, the skill level, or the strategic level at DOK level three. And she has, again, the same standard, a different I can statement, um, and uh, a different pulled assessment item from Parker Smarter Balance. This is a very classic farmer with a, a given amount of fence wanting to create uh, the most space for the farmer, or for the pigs in the pig pen. <laughs> um, and then again, those differentiation strategies that are all adjusted to the level of support for the students. My absolute favorite thing about uh, Goldbook is our DOK level four or our project-based learning uh, pages that we have attached to the standards. So this is a, uh, again, a, a, an extension of that same measurement and data standard that we saw before. We have an overview of, of what the teacher is, is teaching. We have a real world connection. And I'm gonna play this for you right now. Later on, LeBron James is here, and we'll have a, you know, something like that. Let's just run through it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I think it's sold this out. This will be actually. played for a classroom of fourth graders. Let me just start like that. Whoa! Are, are you guys rolling on this? That's a 90 footer. Oh, that is amazing. Oh my! And I love that guy's face at the end. I get a kick out of it, and so do students. So this is, this, uh, this is a project asking students to compare two real life rectangular spaces. So they're going to be measuring their home or their school's basketball court versus the court of a professional basketball court. And so they ask after showing LeBron James making a full court shot, how far do you think that shot was in feet? Um, and it gets the, uh, the students pretty jazzed about uh, finding area and perimeter and seeing if they can make a full court shot like LeBron James at their school's court. So we have a project plan here. We have a an example final student product. Of course, the same differentiation strategies with embedded UDL strategies within. An explanation of the integrated standards. And these mini project plans that give you everything you need to know and, and need to print and use in your classroom in order to implement this project in your class. Again, you can download it in Word or PDF. And it gives you everything you need to, to have in order you can uh, we, we provide it in Word so that you can edit it and customize it uh, for your classroom. Another great thing that we provide at Goldbook 
is our resources. In addition to those projects we have and those strategies that you can print out, we have uh, a number of printable resources, all that are customizable to you guys or and to our teachers. Um, we know that a lot of our teachers are just in straight up survival mode. Um, and so what they need is something that they can, it's, it's a recess and they need something that they can use in the next 20 minutes. So they can come on here, they can say, I'm a seventh grade teacher. I'm teaching reading and I need just some text that my students can read at various Lexile levels and I'll choose this on race, race relations. So they can, they can see, they can download these resources and get text on uh, any number of topics regarding to race relations at various Lexile levels. So they can be, have their students be reading uh, letters from Birmingham jail. Um, uh, to uh, a letter to my son um, and to the diary of Anne Frank. Um, that is, that is uh, our goal book program for you in a very tight, very comfort, uh, uh, condensed nutshell. Um, but I want to thank you guys. Um, we are in over 500 districts across 45 states, all the way from the Northwest Arctic borough of Alaska, all the way to Houston ISD. Our teachers are using Goldbook and loving it. Um, and if you have any questions, come find me. Thank you so much.